Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Capricorn. We will be looking at what is coming in and what is going out. The messages that I put forth are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into this reading. And first we're going to look at what is going out. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Okay. I have the Six of Water. Capricorn, what is going out? is the need for you to be accepted, to feel like you need to be accepted by family, by friends. Yes, Spirit says acceptance. Yes, your feeling um, of wanting to fit in, of wanting to please everyone. Spirit says like you're not afraid to go after it alone. You're not afraid to stand out. You're not afraid to stand in your truth. It's like no longer are you afraid just to be yourself? You no longer desire to fit in. Um, I see you going into a phase where you're embracing your uniqueness. You're embracing what makes you different. And understanding that it's actually a blessing to not fit in with the crowd. That there is something very special about you. And that specialness that uniqueness the qualities that you possess is actually what draws people into you what makes you stand out from everyone else so let's clarify spirit clarify the six of water in the reverse I have the Ten of Cups. I have Death and Rebirth in the reverse. And I have the Star. Capricorn, your transformation is completed. Spirit says completion. Yes, your transformation is completed. You are now a different person. Your star is shining bright. It's like you're ready to take on the world. I heard project. For some of you, you're working on some type of project, some type of creative endeavor. Whatever it is that you're working on, it is very different from the norm. For some of you, you may be delving into things that are very different from tradition, from the way that you grew up. I heard divination. Some of you may be practicing divination. But... You are choosing to go your own route, take your own path, despite what other people think or feel about it. And it's like, it took you a long time to get here, Capricorn. In the beginning of your life, when you were younger, childhood, teenage years, um, early adulthood for some of you, you wanted to fit in. You asked yourself, why don't I fit in? And you did everything that you could to do so, but it just never worked because you were not meant to fit in. You were meant to stand out. And it's like with this Ten of Cups, you're finally getting everything that you want because you accepted this change. You embraced this transformation. You embraced who you truly are, Capricorn. And that is why you're in a season of fulfillment, of happiness. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit clarify the Ten of Cups. For some of you with this Ten of Cups, this is going to be you finding your divine counterpart, a divine connection, someone who um, has a very similar journey to yours, someone who did not fit in. They stood out as well. And it's like 
you are both going to be able to connect on a very deep soul level. This is going to truly be a connection that is orchestrated by spirit, something that is life-changing for a lot of you because you always struggled for that acceptance even in your relationships and it's like you're finally going to meet the person who has similar qualities or similar experiences as you and they are going to be able to understand you i heard not judge like this person is not going to judge you they're going to be very accepting I have the Ace of Wands and I have the Four of Swords. Yes. In this connection, you're not going to have to worry. You're going to be at peace. You're going to be at peace moving forward. And just in general, Capricorn, you're just going to be at peace when it comes to making certain decisions about your life, whether it's about your relationships, your career, your spirituality. It's like you're going to have that inner peace, that inner knowing. You just know that the decisions that you're making is going to benefit you are going to be for your highest good. You're going to have clarity. Spirit says, this is not temporary. The decisions that you're making right now, Capricorn, is going to affect your life forever. So let's get a message for death and rebirth. I have the two of wands. Capricorn... With the two of wands in the reverse, you no longer have to go seeking or searching. Everything that you have is already within you. You have it within you to create the life, the future that you want for yourself. You no longer have to look for happiness. You no longer have to look for peace in anyone else, in any situation, in any relationship. Because you already possess it. Everything that you have been looking for was already within you. So you no longer have to search. All you have to do is tap in to your natural essence. Let's get a message for the star. I have the six of swords in the reverse. Spirit says the search is over. Whatever you've been looking for, you've already found it. The search is over. You've already found your calling. You've already found your purpose. All you have to do is walk in it. All you have to do is continue on the same path, Capricorn. What is going out is... Your need to be accepted. You're now ready to be true to yourself. To embrace who you are. Despite what anyone else thinks. You're living your life for you. So let's see what's coming in. the fool yes you are ready to take a leap of faith for some of you this is going to be multiple leaps of faith you are ready to step out capricorn you are ready to take risk you are ready to try something different so let's clarify the fool I 
have the two of swords in the reverse. No longer questioning or doubting yourself. You're moving forward. You're no longer questioning or doubting your abilities. No longer questioning or doubting what you really want out of life. It's like, no, you know. You know what you want. You know what you need. You know what you deserve, Capricorn. And you are taking that leap to get it, to have it. To have success. I heard business. For some of you, you're taking a leap when it comes to starting your own business. Spirit says relationship. For some of you, you're taking a leap when it comes to a relationship, a connection. Fully committing to someone. It's like there's no doubt. You know what you want. Let's get another message. I have the Ten of Swords. You're walking away. You're walking away from everything that has hurt you. You're walking away from your past. Some of you have healed. You have healed childhood issues. You've healed past pain from relationships that didn't work out it's like you're turning your back to everything that was meant to hurt you that was meant to bring you down and you're facing a new beginning facing a better future for yourself you're facing your blessings turning towards things that are going to be abundant to your life that is going to create abundance spirit says an abundant mind an abundant spirit that is what you are turning towards so let's clarify the two of swords in the reverse I have the higher front in the reverse. For some of you, you're making a decision or you will be making a decision to walk away from a relationship, from a marriage that has kept you in bondage, that has hindered you, a connection that you were not happy in. For some of you, you've already walked away from this connection. You took a leap of faith and you left something that was no longer for your highest good. Turned your back on this situation and decided to take a risk and live the life that you want to live. Take a risk and be happy. That is what you decided to do. No longer bound to a situation. No longer bound to a person that continually hurt you, betrayed you. Left you in the Ten of Swords energy. No, you turned your back on it. And for some of you, this is the biggest leap of faith that you have ever taken in your life. But the rewards that you have received has been greater than anything you've ever received in your life. Let's get a message for the Ten of Swords. I have justice in the reverse. Yes, some of you walked away from a relationship, from a connection, a marriage. 
by you walking away from this connection, this is what started you on the journey of transformation. This is what led to your change, led to your soul's evolution, this relationship. You have grown a lot through your experiences when it comes to connections. And you finally see yourself for the person that you have always been. This person may have talked down to you, looked down on you, made you feel less than. But it's like no longer. You now understand your worth, your value. You now understand that there's more to life. That you deserve love. You deserve peace. You deserve every good thing that God's spirit wants to give to you. And now you are in a place where you are able to receive it. So let's pull one final message. Freedom. Capricorn, you are free. You're no longer bound by situations, people, negative thinking patterns. You are free. You have freed yourself. You have freed your mind, your soul, your spirit. Now you are free to live. You are free to enjoy life. You are free to be happy. You are free. So I hope that this message resonates. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.